Hi guys, this is Ryan from KidsTab at Wi-Fi.com and I'm just getting a ton of comments about the Tabio and I know everybody's frustrated so let me explain some things about uh, this mobile parental filter. Um, by default, after you sign in, um, there's some things that you're probably going to want to change to make this easier on you. Um, the first thing I would change is the no search engines this is not going to allow you to search and use the Amazon App Store so go ahead and uncheck mark that um, as you can see I still um, check marked a lot of the stuff that I, I find to be inappropriate you can take any of this stuff off that you don't want them to be able to get and basically it's going to block those sites from being able to be used uh, there's a lot of languages by default um, that aren't going to be able to, um, to be used either Make sure you hit confirm after you change that so that you can use the search engine. Basically on your web browser that allows you to, um, to be able to search for stuff like install Amazon App Store. So if you use my uh, video on how to install the Amazon App Store, you're going to need to make sure that that is checkmarked first right there. No search engines. Uh, the second thing that I would change is by default every time you download an app, it's not gonna work and the reason it does this is it says forbid newly installed applications by default this is checked so every time you put an app on here it's not gonna work so what you need to do is uncheck mark that and then all the stuff that you um, downloaded uh, since you uh, turned on the parental filters you're gonna need to turn to this on position so that the children will have access to those apps. So um, depending on how many you download, you can see I've got tons of apps on here, but they will all automatically go to the off position. Now if you don't want your kids to uh, be able to use the search engine and you just want them to be able to go to um, certain websites, you can enter the websites here and if there's certain ones you just don't want them to be able to go to like I don't know if you don't like Nickelodeon and you don't want them to go to Nick Jr. you could type in nickjr.com and they won't be able to go there you can also change time slots say your kids supposed to be in bed um, you can check when it's not gonna be active so anytime you want you can make the tablet not active uh, so they can't use it and then you can look at the activity of when the tablet's being used. And you can also look at the history of what they're browsing. Now I'm going to leave this uh, URL sites now. You can see right here it shows that it blocked it because it was a violent. Uh, whatever YouTube video was trying to be watched, it blocked it because it, um, it was considered a, a violent video. So if it comes up and you wanted your kids to be able to see it, you could click on it and then hit allow, or you can just remove. So those are some things about the, the filter. Um, it is easier to set it up on your PC, so I would suggest that because you got uh, there's, there's lots of parents having issues with it. After you set it up on your PC, just turn um, the power all the way off to the tablet and then power it back up and you should be good to go it should come up with the parental filter working correctly uh, some other things you might have to do is go to the settings on your um, tablet and under the app on the left side it'll be over here and it'll say apps and then you'll find the app that says mobile parental filter and you'll go to it'll be one of the apps that's running you just need to stop it clear the cache and then reset the tablet and then it should come back set up. Um, so I hope this has helped. Uh, feel free to leave more questions. I just wanted to see if I could, you know, get some of you guys' questions answered with a quick video for you. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you need help, just let me know.